Coach Bryant said it was a special place in heaven for coaches' wives, and I couldn't agree more. Uh, it's, you know, it, not every good man is a good woman, and uh, there's no doubt uh, Melissa runs our family for a good 10 months of the year, and she does a great job. And I don't have to worry about my kids being taken care of. I don't worry about the power bill, you know. We're always going to have power, or, you know, they don't, they don't ever turn off our water. She does an unbelievable job of running our family, uh, and especially during basketball season. And this year, you know, we're coaching all four teams. She has really been putting a bind, and uh, she uh, she answered the bell, you know. She's done a great job, and and I always kid people and say that, you know, Melissa's the one that made the bad decision marrying me. You know, I didn't make a bad decision marrying her. I made a great decision marrying her. She's the one that made the bad decision marrying me. And she, uh, and I didn't trick her. You know, I was at, at Geraldine the year I met her, and uh, Kill was the coach of all five teams, and I was his assistant. So she knew what she was getting into. And, and then I baptized her in the SEC life, and, and it was really, you know, I was gone probably 25, 30 nights of the year. So, you know, she's, she's been unbelievable. Uh, she's definitely the rock of our family, and, and she keeps everything together. And she, uh, there's no doubt, she's got a special place in heaven. I have a great support system between my mom helping out with laundry during the week and Robbie's mom cooking us lots of meals. Um, it makes it lots easier. Robbie spends so much time coaching other people's kids and spending time away from his own kids. And um, that's hard for me to deal with, but it's also rewarding knowing that he is influencing them in their lives. He's teaching them to be leaders, um, not only on the court, but off the court as well. I knew uh, <clears throat> during the Christmas holidays that it looked, looked like that it was shaping up that we were probably going to get to play each other, and, uh, and the county tournament. I really didn't, really didn't want that to, to take place, but it did, and uh, that's the way it, uh, it all ball bounces. And we'll we'll take it off and go ahead. Not comparing him, him and myself to uh, Pop, Coach Barry Bryant and Gene Stallings, but. Uh, uh, the uh, former player played uh, Coach Ryan in the Cotton Bowl. Of course, uh, uh, they hugged each other up after that game, and uh, I think we just shake hands. But uh, uh, looking forward to that opportunity, and he's going to do a good job here at the playing you with his uh, his uh, his knowledge of the game and his uh, love of the game and his past experiences. And uh, uh, looking forward to uh, uh, seeing where he progresses with the, with the program he's in charge of now. Uh, I was thinking too. Bro, the last time that we were on the uh, on the uh, floor down in the Coliseum or the, or the Civic Center, we were uh, obviously on the same side then. And uh, but it'd be different now. It'd be on the opposite end, and uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll battle it out, and we'll shake hands when it's over with, and uh, uh, we'll uh, uh, have a good time competing against each other. He's as competitive as any, any player I've had in thirty some years. We'll shake hands and move on. And, uh, the county tournament, uh, the Cap County tournament, we was talking about earlier. It's, uh, it's, it's really one of the elite county tournaments in the whole state of Alabama, and uh, it's something that every player that has the opportunity to climb that one and ladder and cut that may up down. It's, it's really, really a remarkable feat and something special in, in, in their career. It is. And, uh, Coach had a chance to cut uh, a few minutes during his time.
Now I've never worked for a deer climbing that ladder. I mean, it was it was a goal accomplished. You know, that was a goal that we had set. You know, since I was a, a, a child, you know, since coach got there to win, and it was really a sense of accomplishment and uh, a sense of pride when we became kind of basketball tournament. Yeah. Yeah. It's a special term, Coach is right, and I, I've been forced to be some, in some other counties and and, and, and see other county tournaments, and it's, it's not this way everywhere. You know, I, I think we take it for granted sometimes how special it is and how close in our communities are. And uh, who really cuts down that net Saturday night, so I have some, some long lasting memories, I promise you that. Take great shots, okay? We're getting better at this, all right? Take great shots. Everybody in here knows what your range is. Everybody knows what a great shot is. We're going to be able to get open shots all night, okay? Take great shots. Number three, attack the glass. That is who we are. When we beat people in the glass, we're a good basketball team. Attack the glass. Defensively, number one, be physical. We have to be the most physical team out there. Communicate. If we get up something, it's going to be a jumper, remember? Be sure we're communicating. Switch, switch. Do what we do. Number three, help side. All right? Help side. If you're away from the ball, get the help side. They don't have a lot of great shooters. They got one kid that's probably made five frees in the games. All right? They don't have any, they don't have any great shooters. All right? Get the help side. We can always adjust. All right? Get the help side. Their strength is beating it in the post. All right? We're going to take that away tonight. All right? Get the help side. The main thing is play plenty of basketball. All right? You guys have proven over the last four to six weeks that you're born in, that you're committed to this team, that you are a team of grit. All right? You you be a team of grit tonight, we're gonna like the results. All right? Play play view basketball. Everybody got it? So let's go out for a My wife will make it yet. Hey, y'all seen Melissa yet? You seen Melissa yet? No. Call her. Here we go, here we go. You got 13, he's left-handed. He's getting to his left hand. He's gonna see the jump off the catch, he's gonna pump fake you. Throw him in the post. Cody, you got four. Driver. Chase, you got 23. Catch and shoot, got tries to score. Uh, cuts hard. Dylan, you got 12. Grinder now, tough kid. Pump fakes in the post, shoots it off the catch. Will, you got 10, all right? He wants it free and easy, all right? He's going to shoot it off the catch. we got to box out and do what we do, all right? Play, plain view basketball. Do what we do. Got him excited. Let's keep this thing on. Let's go, Let's go. Grip. One, two, three. And that time, Crossville wins the tip. And we are underway. <laughs> Finds Bobo in the corner. Hey, you got 15. Catch and shoot. You got four. Big time ever right there. Oh, that's a good, it's a good half right there. It's a good quarter. Good job. Hey, taking great shots. That's what we do. Now it's gonna pass that one to fast.
players. Logan Wright's gonna take a long free throw shot. Yeah. It don't matter if we get up 16, 36, or two. We're shooting great shots. That's not a great shot, right, Radar. No one on this team thinks that's a great shot. That's me being real with you. Me telling you the truth. That ain't a great shot. We take great shots. Dribbling the threes off the ball screen's hard shots. All right? Take great shots. We got the lead. We're playing five or six guys, seven. All right? It's okay. The grind is Wait for the Bears. And nice reverse layup right there. Rebounds win this thing. Hey, pick up the ball. They're gonna foul. We're gonna shoot one more time. They're gonna shoot two the rest of the way. Be yeah, strong with it. Well, you have to gonna have a chance to make this a three-point ball game. Yo, Clark was a great ball. Good game, good game, good game, bro. Ready, good game. Good game. Good game. Coach, I'm gonna hug you. Good game, good sir. Hey, good to see you. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Yes, sir. I'll shake your hand. Let's go. You all right, Rap? Good to see you, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. We'll take it. Take that and go to the house. Surviving in advance, baby. That's what tournament play is all about. Surviving and advancing. Golly, I want to choke this one over here. Golly. Hey, big win. Big win. Let me tell you something. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Five in the semifinals on Friday night in our own building. Are you kidding me? God, I'm excited. Let's get ready to go. They play with uh, such heart and such grit. And it breaks my heart when they lose. And it just fills my heart with joy when they win. Um, wins can't be enjo enjoyed for long during basketball season because the games are so close together. You have only a few days to start preparing for your next opponent. And so you can't enjoy a victory for the time because you have to start worrying about and preparing for your next match. Big time win. You guys, today we're talking about how longest bench since we won a uh, game in the county tournament. I don't know about all that stuff. None of that stuff affects us. Uh, it's been a long time, I think, since playing won a county tournament game in the semifinals. Congratulations. I'm proud of that achievement. You guys deserve that. Uh, great win. And we got five. You guys know more about them than I do. You guys played them twice last year. They pretty much got everybody coming back. Is that right? I may have all five starters back. Uh, so you guys know them better than I do. Play hard, play gritty, play tough. Uh, going to drive the ball, try to get it at the rack, going to offensive rebound, going to guard you. Okay? Uh, it's going to be a great basketball game. It's going to be a fun game to be a part of. Should be a packed house on both sides. It's going to be at 7.30 on Friday night in the county semifinals. It don't get much better than that. I believe we play our basketball. It's going to be a four-point game going in the fourth quarter either way. Close to parallel. That is parallel. Good shot. You don't get one for girl. Atta boy. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Post moves. Let's go. No. One on zero. Post moves. Let's go. Let's go. One on zero. 
Um, Luke's been involved in Plainview Athletics since he was hired in 2008, I believe. Um, he was originally hired for basketball, football, and baseball, so we are year-round at this house, sports-wise. He originally only did varsity football, junior high baseball, and junior high basketball. Now he does varsity and junior high football, varsity and junior high and B-team basketball, and no baseball for now. So it's sports here from pretty much May to May, I guess. So it's, um, it's, it's sports all the time here. Being a coach's wife is stressful for me. Um, it's, it's fun in some sense, but it also can be stressful. We have a two-year-old and an almost five-month-old now. Um, our youngest was born at the very beginning of football season, so for the full first four months of his life, it was a lot of, you know, Luke was just here at bedtime, just here first thing in the mornings, and then he was gone for sports. Um, basketball's been very much the same thing. He is there. Pretty much, he gets there at seven o'clock in the morning for school. He's there after school for practice or after school for a game or he travels to the game, gets home 9, 30, 10 o'clock, the kids are in the bed and it's a lot of, he gets to see the kids through a text message or gets to call them every now and then on speakerphone and talk to them and hear them and things like that. But I mean, for the most part, it's a lot of um, just, I feel like sometimes a single parent for the most part. We both have great support systems as far as families go. Um, both of our parents live in Rainsville. We live about three miles from each set. Um, of course, Luke's nephew plays varsity sports, and so we go to most of the sports events anyway to watch him play. So if I do get to go and I take the kids, there's always plenty of people to help me. If, if I want to go and I feel like the kids don't need to go or it's an away game or too cold or whatever, you know, my mom always volunteers. Just let me keep the boys and, you know, you go ahead and go. So... Um, it is it is great as far as us being local here, and we both graduated from the same school. All of our parents live in the same town, and so it's great for us to be able to have have that support system to, for to help for our kids for whenever he's not around. Twenty-two and a half, two, two, one and a half. Gotta do something. Match up, guys. We'll know if we're in this. Come here. I'll make a scene. All right, we're in fest. Come on, Dylan. Again, let's go. Where were you at, Sway? Won't dive harder. Chase beat you down there. Chase is 20 foot higher than you. Everybody up. Hey, scout. Hey, pay attention. Listen to me. Me team got a big game tomorrow against Fife. I'm gonna be man to man. Doing the same stuff. He doing the same. He's like me. He does everything from seventh through twelfth the same. All right, you be ready for it. Uh, varsity, what an opportunity, man! What a great gift to be able to play five in the semifinals of the county tournament in the old gym on Friday night at seven thirty. I mean, I, I can't dream up anything any better than that. Okay. Get some rest. Take care of your body. Tomorrow, we'll watch more film. We'll start going through personnel. We're gonna play plenty of basketball. Okay. If we show up and we lay it on the line and compete and do what we're supposed to do. We're going to look up there in the fourth quarter and be right in the game. All right? We've proven that. We have proven that. That's who we are. All right? Let's keep doing what we do. Chop, 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 boys. Cut that tree down. Let's go. Grip. One, One two, two, three. three. Grip. Get out of here. Well, it's got Will Banks. Cody's got Thrash. Chase, you got Stiefel. Dylan, you got Carroll. Will, you got Harrison. We're going to hide the ball screen, remember? Unless it's in the weed. We're going to hide the ball screen. Everybody understand that? Yeah. We're starting off in double. Hoover Harrison's Gardens right here. It's on the ball screen. Cody's got the ball. We got Dylan here. Uh, Chase and Bobo coming off that thing. Let's see what they do. I want to see how they go to the ball screen. Hey, you've earned this right. Let's enjoy it. Let's go. Let's go. Do what we do. One, two, three. Good. Between the five, Brandon Evans and the Plainview Bears. First to start it on up to Sophomore number 24, Will Kirk.
Okay, here we go, and if you are a fan of excitement and good basketball, go no further. Your voices for DeKalb County Tournament, Jake Harris and Nick Dixon joining us. SouthernTorch.com. Glad you guys have decided to join us. It will be Will Kirk versus number 11, Will Brown, on the jump. This will be a straight-up dogfight all the way to the final buzzer, and I, for one, cannot wait. Here we go. Plainview getting the tip off. I'll tell you what, Plainview brought the noise Woo! over there on their studio section, and Cody yeah. Willingham is going to set up shop right here. When, the, when Trent Thrash got his name called, it got a little louder. Here. <laughs> yeah. Trent Thrash has definitely got the fans. Last night, he was ruled MVP, DeKalb County MVP player for football. I mean, that's an accomplishment, so. Yeah. Dylan Clark got there with a good layup. And I said it last night, Nick, you weren't here for this. But my just so back and handle the ball, see. There comes Wilbanks. Foul on the floor. Go, go, Jace, go, Jace. And another one on Will Kirk. Sub, sub, That's two sub. already. Quick foul there. Get, get Tristan Harrison down low. Counts the basket. Strong play. Strong Jace, play. you're late. If you're playing me right now, you got to see a little more movement, you know. Good pass down low to number 12, Jace Pruitt. Hey, no one want to Good defense. The ref getting in on the play here. Really making sure of that uh, left hand. Go for it. Brett Bobo, possibly one of the best defensive players in the county. Scott Stewart. <laughs> You guys hot hey. stat for you. If Plainview wins this game, Bobo for three. Got it! Good, Good shot by Brett Bobo. Like I said, he doesn't do it often, right, but when he right. does. He's efficient. But if Switch. Plainview wins We're this ball game, if We're they find a way to do side. that, other side. they will have the BT oh, you know girls, side, the varsity girls, and the varsity boys all in the final. In this house. In know. this exact hey. house. Will no, Kirk no. needs to no, calm no. down. That is his third foul already. And that's someone no, they, cannot right. they cannot afford to foul out. Three fouls in the first quarter. He's got to sit. Willingham going driving in. Goes and looks up the shot. The got circus it. shot. Circus shot. I believe. Really tight defense. Pull, pull again. Cody Willingham. Closes the gap down to four. And that right there has got to get Plainview fired up. Right. Starting to see a little enthusiasm out of the head coach now. Man, that kid's athletic. Look at it. Look at that. Strong move. That is where you build. Trent Thrash he lets his action show. He is just phenomenal. Good oh. lead right there. Blow move it. Billy Clark. Blow move it. Plainview's back in it. <laughs> Why you hit it? He's back in this ball game. If you can't, if you can't hear that, who's hey. there? Hey, it's gonna be a long game, baby. Let's keep chopping. Let's do what we do. Out of boy. Hey, hey, we just gotta man up. That's all we gotta do. All right, it's gonna be a physical game. Enjoy this. This is what we practice for. Good job out right there. We're back in this thing. Hey, great shots down there. That's all we're taking in this end. Great shots. All right, that's how you get back in the game. Stops and rebounds and great shots. Do what we do. All right, play our game. Grip, one, two, three. Cody Willingham once again. Right. So both teams at 50%. Blameview's hit one. Uh, five has hit five. Good, Good move, move by Brett Bobo. Good move. Good bang off the back. You know, it's just. Race Lady up. Count it. That's what they want. Come on! Come on! Come on! Here comes Will Brown all the way to the up. And the charge! Will Brown! Come on! Come on! Come on! Shaking up a little bit. 
Foul trouble, all right? They got major foul trouble. We got a little bit of foul trouble. All right? Dog foul of a half. Players making plays. We have got to box them out. Hey, it's going to pull down to That's what I told you this. Offensive rebound. All right? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Grip, one, two, three. He really does. He is a just tremendous athlete. Good pass. Good dish right there. Number oh, 11, Will Brown. Oh, good pass there. That good hand. And Harrison was a big reason that they actually won the Sand Mountain Tournament. I can tell totally you Good dish down low to number 24, Will. Shoot a shooter three. Just let it back off. Good move by number 20, Jason. Cody Willingham. Brett Bobo for three. Got it! What's up? Huh? Yeah. Good move by Harrison to get the paint, but it's a no avail there. Good feed. Good feed down low. Good no call by the official team. And it almost went. Good, oh. good pull up jumper by number 20, Cody Willingham. That puts the Bears within one. Make sure you just count. Not too close. Hey. There's nothing like the Cap County tournament. I love it. Right, it's so much fun every time. Right. And this is just a semi final. Right. Right. <laughs> Stephen was ball in here. He does a good job of getting in the lane. That pull up jumper was good. Good shot. Austin Stephen just good all hey. around. I mean, perfect hey. pull up jumper right there, right over the defense. Hey! Robbie Coker, if I go, go, go. I think I do, they're going to call for one shot, 43 to 30. And if they get a decent look, we may be walking out with a tied ball game in the third quarter. Cody Willingham, pocket of 43. You've got to be kidding me. Wow. Did you expect that? I was looking for Bubba to get the last. Wow. And I don't really know if this is appropriate or not, but uh, hashtag momentum. Let's go! What a shot by Cody Willingham. Oh, now if you're not getting a view of this, Plainview is going to do the roller coaster. This is a blast to watch. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're fine. What you do he does have four fouls. Right. Had a good look and chose to pass it away on this one. And he is. Cody Willingham is on fire. Yes, he is. He is having the game of his life right now. Here I go. The rim has been on, been on a few plays. Good play. 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 Yeah, you know, they got a four-point lead right now, 49-45. Winner of this game will meet Geraldine tomorrow night in the finals. Hey! Stop the rebound! Hey, can't go back in. He came out, came out the ball. He just came out. Hey! Hey! 
Cody Willingham has been clutch from the line. Yeah. 51-45, your score. Plainview on top with a chance to go to the finals and play Geraldine. Will Banks is an effort, second effort, gets the stop to go down and one. But he's right there in the mix. He up. is, he is. And he got it. Coach Robbie Coker challenged right. these guys to uh, to get within. Look at that move. Right. Wow. Oh, I thought uh, Brett Bobo was going to put it up. Whoa, good takeaway by Brown. Dish out. No good on the layup. Trent Brad. Brad. Oh. Back up. Got it. Tom Bobo. Tom, 53-0. Will cut to the line. Foul goes against Tristan hey. Harrison, number 33. Hey. That's his third. One minute exactly, and Will Kirk going to the line. It'll be one and one. Newsom back in the game, number 20. He's been playing some good defense. Keep an eye on Newsom here. Oh, that's going to be a foul right there. I'm yeah. surprised. I said good defense. I was a little, little uh, I don't even know how to describe what's happening right now. I have no idea. Somehow if I just. That's going to be a foul. Wow. Oh, they're calling that on Brett Bobo. So they call the look and not the charge. And Will Banks goes to the line. If he makes this, the game has got really interesting. What this point do you have right here? Still on the inbound by Will Banks. Will Banks just stole the inbound. Wow. Go, 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 Hey, it's a one possession game now, at least. Double fist. Hey, time out for goes in. Time out. Time out. Got it. All right, we're running money. We see that. All right, if they don't press, Cody, catch as far as you can go. You've got you and you. You're ball screening for Cody. All right, Cody, either shoot your layup or shoot your three out of here. First open look, shoot it. All right, you guys just find it. We're going to throw it into Cody. You go pick his mind off. Right. Yeah, down here, anywhere in here. Anywhere in here. All right, if they don't press us, all right? If they press us, we're running money. Everybody understand that? Let's go, get it up on the rim. Hey, we, got enough, we got plenty of timeouts. Three up, one, two, three. Three. This game has definitely advertised to be everything we thought it would be, and then some. Five with only one rebounder down low. Here we go. One shot. No timeout's gonna be taken here. Willingham for three. No, they got time for another. Put it up. It's short. No good. Bob is going to go on to win. Good job. Um, I believe that coaching is a calling, and it is Robbie's calling. Um, and so, as his wife, I have to be behind him 100% in that. And I see all the passion that he has for the game and for basketball and for these guys and the time and effort that he puts into making Plainview successful. And I just want these boys to win so badly. Losses are hard for both of us. Some of the losses, especially here lately, have been just heartbreakers, very close games where we just couldn't pull through and finish. And um, it's definitely hard when he gets home. But seeing those two babies' faces and he can't be down for long. He has to cheer up and move on and be daddy.